Security is an essential part of a cloud service like Microsoft 365. In this video, you will learn the key features that keep your data protected when your business uses Microsoft 365 basic and standard licenses. Security isn't just a feature, it is a necessity, and it is recommended that you know about it. Now, we are going to explore here the powerful security features built right into Microsoft 365. With security being such a vital aspect of using Microsoft 365, you might be wondering how exactly it all works. That's where security defaults come into play. So what exactly are security defaults in Microsoft 365 and how they can help protect your organization from the most common threats? Let's break it down. Security defaults are Microsoft's way of making it easier to protect your organization from identity-related attacks like a power spray, replay, and phishing. Threats that are unfortunately very common today. Microsoft has pre-configured these security settings and made them available to everyone who uses Microsoft 365 because they know managing security can be a challenge. In fact, Microsoft found that more than 99.9% .9 of these common identity-related attacks can be stopped by using multi-factor authentication and blocking legacy authentication. And the best part, security defaults are included at no extra cost, ensuring every organization has at least basic level of protection. So what do these security defaults actually do? Let's break it down. Block legacy authentication protocols. Older, less secure authentication methods are automatically blocked. This means attackers can exploit outdated protocols to access your data. Protect privileged activities. Critical tasks like accessing the Azure portal are safeguarded to prevent unauthorized changes that could compromise your entire organization. Mandatory multi-factor authentication, or MFA. Multi-factor authentication is included as part of the security default, ensuring that even if a password is compromised, the attacker can't gain access without that second form of verification. Now, who is this really for? Microsoft designed security defaults primarily for organizations with fewer than 300 users, typically those using Microsoft 365 Business Basic and Standard licenses. If that sounds like your organization, then security defaults could be a perfect fit. If your organization has less than 300 users, but you still need more secure environment, Microsoft offers the Microsoft 365 Business Premium License, which offers the same tools that the Microsoft 365 Business Standard, plus more advanced and sophisticated security capabilities. In a future video, I will discuss the advantages of these type of licenses. Now, let's jump to my computer and I will show you how to verify if security defaults are enabled. Enabling security defaults is pretty straightforward. Let me walk you through the process. First, we need to access our Microsoft account. Then we need to click on the admin icon to access the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. We will find the icon on the left side of the screen. If we don't see it here, we can click on the nine little dots on the upper left corner, and we can search for Admin. We got it here. We need to know that new Microsoft 365 business subscriptions will enable security defaults automatically within the first 48 hours after completing your subscription. If your subscription is one year old or older, it is possible that security defaults might not be enabled. So it is important to learn how to verify if it is enabled. If it is not, I will tell you how to do it in a moment. Within the Admin Center, we need to click on Show All, then we scroll down, and we will find the Identity Admin Center. We click on there. It will open the Microsoft Enter Admin Center, or Identity Center, previously called Azure Active Directory. Now here, the easy way is to search for property. And we will find here Tenant Properties. We click on here, then we scroll down and we will find at the bottom Manage Security Defaults. We click here, 
On the right, we will see that it is disabled in this case. To enable it, we just click here and then click on Enabled. Then we just need to click on Save. In this case, Security Default is now enabled. And that's it. Once enabled, Security Default will start protecting your organization immediately. You need to know that once you enable Security Default, Multi-Factor Authentication, or MFA, becomes a mandatory feature for all users. If, for any reason, you want to be selective on some users having multi-factor authentications and others don't, then there is a ways you can manage it. Here I'm leaving a video that explains how to manage multi-factor authentication for selected users only. Now, while security defaults offer excellent protection, some organizations might need more customized security settings. If you are using Microsoft 365 Business Premium, you might want to move beyond security defaults and start using what is called conditional access policies. Conditional access allows you to tailor security policies based on the specific conditions, such as user roles, locations, or device states. It is a wonderful tool for organizations that need more than just the basics. Before I wrap up, one crucial tip. Microsoft recommends that organizations have two cloud-only emergency access accounts permanently assigned the global administrator role. These accounts are your safety net in case you locked out of your primary admin account. That's a wrap for today's video. Security defaults in Microsoft 365 are a fantastic way to protect your organizations without adding complexity. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech tips. And as always, if you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.